Hi, I'm Harry Teal. No, I'm Brian Teal. We're not um, professional TV people or anything. Probably <laughs> obvious. Yeah. Uh, no, we're brothers. Eating to fish, you didn't know that. Uh, and, and we uh, we own Teal Butcher Shop. Well, we, we did own yeah, well, the Teal Butcher Shop. We're selling them more. Go on. Well, it's because everybody Might found out we're the same person. So the gig's up. So before we get too deep into this, I have to apologize because there's a section of this video where the audio is awful. Apparently the volume got shoved way up and so everything is distorted for a little bit. So I've limited to the best of my ability the use of that audio and of course brought the volume down and tried to make it as listenable as possible. Now today we are talking about the ethical uses of face swapping and voice cloning. It's very easy to come up with the nefarious uses of it. I don't even need to go down that road and I won't because that's going to sidetrack you and you'll be thinking all kinds of thoughts. I don't want you to think. That's not the point. We're trying to steer you in the right direction here. So let's say you're an actor. And let's say you have a lot of ideas for stories, but you don't have a lot of actor friends around that you can just hit up and say, hey, come over and let's act together. This technique allows you to be your own actor friend and with a different voice, a different look, get creative with wigs and wardrobe, and by golly, you got a whole stable of actors. And this little demonstration is just to show you how we did that. So the first thing we do is start with the source video of two people in the same scene. So I wrote a little script, a dialogue between two people, and I shot one part, and then I changed my shirt, and then I shot the other part. Now I brought this into Vegas. You can use any editor you're comfortable with. I just happen to like this one, and it's going to allow me to easily line these two up. So you can see here, that the first part of the video, I'm on this side, and then somewhere over here, I switch side. We can split that there, and then we'll just find about where I start, because I'm answering. We'll layer one on top of the other, and then just do a simple mask to divide it in half and then line it up. So I'll just go in here and click on mask. And I think a simple rectangle one will be fine. And I want to show this part. And there you see, we've got our two guys. Now we just need to make sure they're lined up. Now what we need to do is we need to export each audio track separately so that I can give each one a different cloned voice. So I'm just going to solo this track and export it as a WAV file. We've got the two WAV files. Now let's go to 11 Labs. Okay, so here in 11 Labs, we're going to use the speech to speech feature. And so I'm going to upload first Gary. Make sure it's there. Hi, I'm Gary Teal. I'm just going to choose any voice that's already in the 11 Labs library. Not going to do a clone thing. I'm just going to go with what we've got literally in this list. A man is not old as long as he is seeking something. Okay, that guy. Tom is going to be Gary. Tom and Gary. All right, let's generate and see what we get. Hi, I'm Gary Teal. You, you lose Gary completely. We're not um, professional TV people or anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we're brothers. What I'm going to do is instead of recording the whole thing again, because I'm not going to do that, I will put subtitles on the screen to help the viewer hear. Hello, I'm Gary Teal. Hi, I'm Gary Teal. The lesson here, boys and girls, is enunciate. So we've got the video in Face Fusion, and now we just need faces to swap out. So I went over to Leonardo and just created some faces and chose a couple, which I have right here. And so I'll just drag the first one over, let it do its processing. This one I actually want to be Brian, the one on over here. As you can see, it's actually put the face on both of them because both faces are the same face. But there's a face selector mode and I can choose one. And I actually want it over here and not there. So I can go down here and say right to left. And there it is. So now what we need to do is just render out that swap face. That was a 1080p file, so that took a hot minute, but let's take a look at it. There's nothing to hear right now. Just checking out the quality of the face swap over there. It looks good. All right, so now what we need to do is save this out and then load it back in to the tar as the target video and then swap to the other face. Now you can see I've got the swapped face up here as the target. So now we need to get the other face that we want in here, which was this one here. Let it do its thing. 
And of course, go ahead and change this to left to right so it puts it on the correct face. There you go. So now I've got this one over here and we just want to scroll through and check it in all the places. Looks like it's lined up just right. So now we'll render this one out. Okay, so just so you know, on my RTX 3090 and 64 gigs of RAM in the system, this 35 second clip took about two minutes and 20 seconds to render at 1080p. Let's take a look at it real quick. I'm Barry Teal. I'm Brian Teal. We're not um, professional TV people or anything. Probably <laughs> obvious. Yeah. Uh, no, we're brothers. The problem is with this beard, you can't see the lips move very well. So we're gonna generate another face real quick in Leonardo. I wanna demonstrate something. You'll notice these are illustrations and it didn't show up as like an illustrated face on the body. It looked like a real face. So you can get kind of crazy with this and even use cartoons and it'll still translate it into a more human face. Old tired man, crazy features, big nose, bulging eyes. So let's just see what it creates. This is a short little beard. I'm a little worried about his, his lips. I'm gonna try this guy. We'll take a look at it. I'm gonna copy image, go over to Face Fusion, close this up, click here. And because I'm using the Opera browser, this is available to me. Click that, and now let's just see what it does with the face. And I'll have to render it out for another two minutes and 20 seconds to see if the lips move better. But let's just take a look at what it looks like. Do they look like, do they look too similar? They are supposed to be brothers. I'm Barry Teal. I'm Brian Teal. We're not um, professional TV people or anything. Probably <laughs> obvious. Yeah. Uh, no, we're brothers. You need to fish, you didn't know that. Okay, so that works so much better. That was the most basic of demos, but can you see how this is a practical and viable use for face swapping and voice cloning that doesn't infringe on anybody else's rights or their income generation capability? This is you getting creative, creating faces from scratch, creating voices from scratch so that you can be your own stable of actors. And maybe you're not gonna do a finished Hollywood production that way, but what a great way to prototype a story for somebody when you don't have a bunch your friends you can just pull over and say hey act with me today so i hope you have fun with this technique and if you'd like to see this expanded on because we can definitely get more complex with this let me know in the comments because i'd love to go deeper on this and show you some more advanced ways to do this if you subscribe now i will not look for you i will not pursue you but if you do not i will look for you i will find you and i will